I hate doing these type of videos because it's really hard to make sure that you did it right. I mean there are a lot of great finishers in the WWE today so I'm gonna focus on my opinion plus other peoples and I will try to work this out. We already lost a lot of great finishers like the Cobra when a guy just you know Sometimes I don't like wrestling. Yeah, sometimes I really hate it. Uh, but seriously, you're watching 10 best WWE finishers of 2017. Helluva Kick, Sami Zayn. Is that how you spell it? Helluva or Helluva Kick? I don't know. The finisher is great because it doesn't seem like the one that would look good, you know, because it's a freaking big boot in a corner. But at the same time, it looks great. It's different than anybody else's and I love that. Unique is good in the WWE, he, it, it's a good finisher. Red Arrow Neville, how can you not put this in the list? I mean how a human being is able to do this kind of stuff, I, I don't even know. I might try right now, should I? Should I try to do Red Arrow in this channel, on this video, right here, right now, live on YouTube? It's, it's not live, but should I do it? Before I do it, I, I should uh, talk about the finisher more because I might just die. So the finisher is good, you know, it, it's awesome. It's one of the best high flying moves ever. And I think, I think I can do it. I think I can. If I can't, it will be such a bad move. And uh, here we go. And here we go. Well, that was easy. Pop up power bomb, Kevin Owens. It's been a long ass time since we've seen a power bomb as a finisher in the WWE. It's a move that became a normal move. Uh, before that, we seen Kevin Nash using that. Sid Justice uh, Psycho said. Anyway, who gives a shit what, what his name is? The same kind of person. Uh, they did it as their finisher. The power bomb used to be a great move, but but right now everybody started using it, and Kevin Owens brought it back with a little twist on you know dick into the kick into the dick and power bomb love it absolutely love it coup de gras finn balor now that looks dangerous i mean just because of that it's gotta be on the top 10 list it's not a top 10 list but it's 10 best finisher so coup de gras is one of them believe me phenomenal forearm now AJ Styles has two finishers, Phenomenal Forearm and Styles Clash. Now Styles Clash is alright, but it's not on this list. It would be on honorable mentions, but I just don't think it made it right here. Uh, it's something la lacking is this in this, fin in this finisher, in my opinion. Phenomenal Forearm looks absolutely phenomenal. I think it's the only springboard move in the WWE right now, the finisher, and uh, that's another great thing. It's unique. Pedigree. Seth. Triple H. It's kind of funny that in my notes I wrote Seth Rollins and I just uh, like effed it up and said Triple H because Seth Rollins' pedigree is bullshit. It, I mean, it looks bad. It, it, it looks really bad. No, but, what, but when Triple H does it, it's amazing. The impact, the speed, the height, everything is perfect. And when Seth Rollins does it, it's just, it's just like landing on your knees with your opponent. It's just like I... It would be like I would do it on my cousin or someone in the in the bed because we don't want to get hurt. That that's how it looks. Tombstone Pilot Driver, The Undertaker. Now The Undertaker is not yeah you know regular thing in the WWE anymore, but at the same time he does still wrestle sometimes. I mean he was in the Royal Rumble, so I decided to put him on this list, not in the you know first place, but I, I think he deserves it. Uh, the Tombstone Pilot Driver, one of the most dangerous and most best looking finishers in the WWE, not in 2017, but of all time. It needs to be on this list. End of days bearing Corbin. I think he's the only one who used this finisher ever. I'm not quite sure. I, I'm pretty sure that uh, there weren't a lot because I, I it's the first time I've seen this move is by Baron Corbin and it looks phenomenal it looks really damn great his mic skills are really you know meh his wrestling is good but the finisher is awesome super kick Dolph Ziggler you might disagree but I think Dolph Ziggler super kick looks 
great. Especially Litty, in the Royal Rumble he super kicked the shit out of everyone and it looked pretty damn cool. And uh, springboard Kalisto into super kick, that shit's awesome. Dolph Ziggler is in a great role right now, his super kick is killing it and it really suits his character, you know. I'm just tired of this match, fuck it. Fuck it. It's weird right now. The or KO Randy Orton. Yeah, this is the first, you know. Not, not a lot of these finishers, you know, should be in the order from 10 to 1, which is better, you know. It's not like that, it's just 10 best finishers. But the or KO actually would be my favorite finisher of all time. Like, the or KO looks awesome. Everybody loves the or KO. It's out of nowhere. It looks phenomenal. Randy Orton does it perfectly. I love it. You love it. Everybody loves it. Give me an RKO sometime. So these are the 10 best WWE finishers in 2017. Let me know in the comments below your favorite finisher right now. And don't tell me the finishers that are not currently in the WWE like Stone Cold Stunner. Stone Cold is not in WWE. Stunner is not a finisher of 2017. Get it right. Yeah. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and make sure to click that bell to get all my videos early, the great one, peace, love and hugs, it's been a pleasure.